So BOMA Demstat or IMG7289 is another agent with a novel mode of action that's been evaluated in the myeloid field. And recently we've been focusing on this agent in myelofibrosis. And there was an update of that data at EHA showing consistent signal with regard to symptom spleen, but also maintenance of, of hemoglobin. And uh, this drug is really interesting because the dose is titrated against the patient's platelet count, which makes it an obvious candidate to manage patients with essential thrombocythemia or other areas with you know, elevated platelet count. We know that um, patients who uh, fail uh, hydroxycarbamide with both PV and ET have a worse outcome. And we also know there are limited agents that are approved in this setting. So um, it w I was really heartened to see the data presented at EHA um, with regard to safety and efficacy for this agent, which is an oral drug um, with a good side effect profile, a little bit of dyskesia and some uh, GI toxicity, but generally well tolerated with a you know, very striking clinical benefit for patients, normalizing the platelet count for the majority of patients within six weeks, not touching the hemoglobin. So that's really important because so many of the other agents we use for these patients such as roxalitinib, for example, cause anemia, and, that, and that's problematic. So I think this is really exciting. The symptom data is also impressive. So patients generally feeling better. And in my centre, we've treated quite a lot of patients with this agent. And in my own experience, it, it also holds up with what um, was presented. So I think this is super exciting. We haven't had a new agent for ET for a long time. There are a lot of patients who are struggling with lack of control of their disease and also a symptomatic burden, as we know from the landmark study. So I'm really looking forward to more data and hopefully a randomised phase three trial in this setting. But I'm also looking forward to hearing the data with Pelabresib, which is also being evaluated for ET patients. Although, as you know, we haven't... Um, seen any data for this yet.